The statue was commissioned by the Federation of Master Builders to celebrate its 50th anniversary in 1991. It was finally chosen from over 20 proposals. By a series of eliminations, they got it down to a short list of three, and eventually a Sherlock Holmes statue was decided on as being the, the one that we go for. And uh, so I was uh, one to have to uh, suggest the Sherlock Holmes statue. I got put in charge of the committee that uh, eventually raised the money and built it. There was a time capsule placed underneath the statue. Ian Baird and his colleagues are very keen that it's taken into protective custody, that no one should open it and it should be put back when Sherlock Holmes returned to Piccadilly Place. We thought it would be quite nice to put that into the base. Uh, again, thinking it was going to be there for probably 100 or 150 years and that people, that, when they do take it down in that time, opened up the capsule, they'd find quite a lot of interesting uh, elements within it, the period of the time when the statue was erected. There were only five members uh, who know what went into the capsule, the four committee members and the president, and uh, it was decided that because of the sensitive nature of some of the material that's in it, that we would not disclose it. No one had expected the statue to be moved in as little as 18 years, but the new tram line will come from York Place into Leith Walk down this very route so it had to be moved. Well, uh, there's very little historical information uh, available about the monument. Um, we've spoken to the Federation of Master Builders who erected the monument in the early 90s, and we've got some information from them, but there are no actual drawings that show you uh, how the monument was uh, erected in the first place. So it's a bit of um, trial, and, uh, which obviously working out the, the final details, we exposed the monument itself. The statue will be carefully stored until its restoration in about 18 months' time.